This video is on Omis Americana, American Elm or White Elm. It's in the Omasi family, the Elm family. The specific epithet Americana means of or from America. And the fruit type is a Samara. And these Samaras mature in the spring. So the wood of this tree is used for furniture and paneling. And this tree is also planted as a street tree. But especially up north, but also here, it's been decimated by Dutch elm disease that introduced pathogen we talked about with slippery elm. The same disease has impacted American elm as well. So to identify this plant, we'll start with the leaves. The leaves are alternate and simple. And they're mostly elliptical with a longer acuminate tip. And the leaves are doubly serrate, so that means each of these teeth, the larger teeth, has these smaller teeth running alongside them. The bases are asymmetrical, similar to slippery elm, how one side of leaf tissue is higher at the base than the other. And the leaves are also rough above. They can be smooth, so slippery elm averages rougher leaves than American elm, but these are pretty rough too, to the touch. Slippery elm also averages larger leaves in this species, so usually American elm leaves are a little bit smaller. And also, like our other elms, the leaves get smaller in size as we go towards the base of the twig and then larger out towards the twig tips. So the big way to tell this from slippery elm is if we look at the bark, it has brownish gray color with these flat ridges and deeper furrows in between. And if you come out here and break off one of these flat ridges, you'll see this really distinctive pattern in the wood you see how it's got these dark layer and then a white layer and then a dark layer and then another white layer and dark and so on and so forth so it alternates between these dark and white layers of wood in the bark and it's hard to show on video but you can still see it kind of like a fudge cookie or an oreo or something like that so it's easier to come out here and do it for yourself you stamp off one of these flat ridges and you'll be able to see that alternating color in the bark so we can also use the Samaras to tell this apart from slippery elm. So American elm Samaras tend to be hairy along the margins and a little smaller in size. While slippery elm Samaras are big and papery and round and no hairs at all on slippery elm. So it's kind of tough to tell them apart, but the combination of smaller leaf sizes, that really distinct alternating bark color and the leaves average smoother, but they can also be rough. And then the Samaras being hairy while slippery elm has those hairless samaras that's really those are the easy ways to tell us apart from slippery elm